Good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Gaurav Chaudhary. I am Associate Professor in the Department of Cardiology in Lari Cardiology in King George Medical University, Lucknow. So uh, today I would be discussing briefly on the management of heart failure. So heart failure are the patient who have a, it can be divided into three types. One is heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, that is ejection fraction estimated on ECO less than 40%. Another is a mid-range ejection fraction, that is ejection fraction between 40 to 50%. And the third is the heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, that is ejection fraction more than 50%. So what the actually happens in heart failure, it is once we have a reduced cardiac output, then there would be a mechanism that will compensate to increase the cardiac output. That is, uh, there would be an increase in the sympathetic nervous system. There will be activation of the renin angiotensin axis and this will lead to a vicious circle. So progressively, once the heart rate will increase or the level of the angiotensin would be increased then the patient ejection fraction would further decline so to uh, manage the heart failure various therapies has evolved over the years and out of these therapy the mainstay of the treatment has been a beta blocker that blocks the sympathetic nervous system and the over the years then there was a development of the ACE inhibitors that acts on the renin angiotensin axis to reduce the afterload. So over the years the mortality of the heart failure is still remains high that is it is around 20 to 25 year uh, percent mortality at 5 year. So in the search of a newer molecule to develop a molecule that will have a better reduction in the morbidity and mortality in the patient of the heart failure the angiotensin receptor plus a naproxen inhibitor what we call it a RNI. So RNI was developed over 15 years and a large clinical trial that is the paradigm trial was done and what actually RNI, RNI is a combination of a valsartan along with the sacubitril that means the naproxen inhibitor. What does the naproxen do? Naproxen break down the vasoactive peptides and these vasoactive peptides like BNP are useful in the management of the heart failure. They lead to the diuresis and the vasodilation. So if we use a combination of ACE receptor blocker, a angiotensin receptor blocker along with a, this sacubitril, so we call it as a molecule that is called as a R9 that comes in various trade names like Vimada. So this was tested against a ACE inhibitor. So R9 versus ACE inhibitor was tested in a large clinical trial that is Paradigm Heart Failure Trial. In this the patient with reduced ejection fraction were taken and they were given an pill. 10 BID dose compared with the Velsartan circuital combination that is Vimada or we call it a RNI in simple terms because it's the combination of angiotensin receptor plus naproxen inhibitor. So this was compared and the patient were taken for around 18 month follow up and what we saw that the use by the use of this RNI the patient who took RNI they achieved a reduction in the events that is the primary endpoint they show the reduction in the mortality by 16 percent and the mortality as well as the morbidity means the hospitalization for heart failure was also reduced by 35 percent so the primary endpoint was met so now we achieved a molecule that was newer in the uh, armamentarium in the management of the heart failure patient so now we have beta blockers ACE, ARBs and a newer molecule that is R9, what we call it is a combination of a Velsartan along with sacubitril. And uh, fourth is the menocortocard receptor antagonist that is the spandalactone. So these are the molecules which can be used in the management of the heart failure. And the management of the heart failure with ejection fraction is a bit different because there are various drugs have been tried in the patient who have a EF more than 50% but it is the only that is the diuretic that has proven to be of help otherwise the other drugs uh, that is the ACE, ARBs or ERNI have not found to be useful in reducing the mortality in the patient of HF with normal ejection fraction. So I think this is the summary of the management of the heart failure. Thank you.